in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, to whom we all have to turn back. Honorable listeners and respectable audience, you know that we have started a series of linguistics. In linguistics, we have commenced the chapter and it is about syntax. I told you that syntax is the study of the structure of a sentence. That's how a sentence is structured. And then related to the syntax, I shared the topics that how a phrase can be recognized. What is moving test? What is replacement test? And there are five phrases which have their own heads like noun phrase, verb phrase, adjective phrase, adverbial phrase and prepositional phrase. We discuss them in detail. Listeners and audience, if you remember, in day before yesterday lecture, our topic was that a noun phrase, it is the daughter of S. A noun phrase can be the daughter of VP and a noun phrase can be the daughter of prepositional phrase which is pp today we going to we are going to extend our lecture about the same phrase which is a noun phrase because now we are going to dig this topic in too much detail that you know about it syntactically so a noun phrase can appear at the beginning of another noun phrase this is our topic today a noun phrase can appear at the beginning of another noun phrase. Now, we are going to talk about the distribution and the internal structure of the noun phrase. That one noun phrase can appear at the beginning of another noun phrase. It is just theoretical statement. How is it so? Let me write one example, uh, some example, sorry, that you understand. The first example is I read uh, the man's book. One example. Another example is I read I read John, John's book. Another example is, I read the old man's book. And the last example is, I read his book. Now, listeners and ideas, I'm going to ask one question. And the question is, how many phrases are there in this sentence? How many phrases are there in the second sentence? Same is the case in the third sentence. Definitely. The answer would be that there are two phrases. And how it is, like you see, I read the man's. This is one phrase and another is book. This is another phrase. So there are two phrases in the sentence. So here you see the, the noun phrase starts with the article and then that is man, noun. And then there is another noun that is book. So two phrases are there. So it shows that a noun phrase can appear inside another phrase. A noun phrase can directly appear inside another phrase internally. So this is about the distribution and the internal structure of a noun phrase. And another interesting point about this is that we can replace the man with just a single word and that is his. For example, I read, 
I read his book instead of the man you can write his so you can uh, substitute or replace this by just a single word that is his so from this we can to know and uh, we deduce that uh, this is a noun phrase and you know already about the book which is a noun and noun phrase let me write the syn uh, syntactic structure of these i read the noun phrase sorry i read uh, the man's books I read the man's book. Now you see, I read the man's book. Here, the man's this case is also called uh, genitive case. Why it is called genitive case? Because sometime. It expresses position. Here it expresses positions. It means uh, when I say the man's book, it means the books of the man. Okay, the book of the man. So this is also called genitive uh, noun praise or the, the noun praise and genitive case. And I told you that why it is called genitive noun or genitive case because sometimes it is used to express position, ownership, or authority. So now, I think there is a line just in this is not visible. So let me write it again. I read uh, the man's book. Okay, now it's clear. See now, and we have sentence. S, this is a string which is called the root node. In sentence, we have NP. What is NP here? We have pronoun that is I. So I'm writing N, which means it is noun praise also. And we have VP, which means verb praise. So in VP, we have only read, that is V. Now we have the man. Yes, we have the man that is NP. So we have the that is article or determiner, and we also have man that is N. Yes, and now we are taking another NP because that is book NP. So one NP dominates another NP. Okay, now see. Here read, it is verb or verb praise and the main and book, they, they are two praises and actually read follow, read follow the main and book. So read which is a VP, it dominates NP and it also dominates what? Another NP. I'm repeating this structure. S is what? S is the root string. And S has two daughters, NP and VP. So here S dominates NP and also dominates VP. And then NP dominates N. Same is the case, we have VP which dominates what? Uh, v, and it means verb praise and another NP or two uh, double noun praises. Hope that this topic is clear to you.